हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड एमीटर बायस एम्पलीफायर इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स वी अंडरस्टूड अबाउट बेस बायस एम्पलीफायर इन बेस बायस एम्पलीफायर द क्यू पॉइंट वाज अनस्टेबल दैट्स व्हाई वी विल गो फॉर एमीटर बायस एम्पलीफायर व्हिच हैज मोर स्टेबल क्यू पॉइंट compared to base bias amplifier there are two types of emitter bias amplifier first one is voltage divided bias and second one is two supply emitter bias in this lecture let us understand about voltage divider bias circuit this figure shows voltage divider bias circuit with biasing voltage as 10 volts rc is 3.6 kilo ohm R E is one kilo ohm, R one is ten kilo ohm, and R two is two point two kilo ohm. Now, first, let us perform the DC analysis. First, let us find the voltage V B. Voltage V B is nothing but V T H that can be written as R two divided by R one plus R two into V C C. so voltage across base can be found using thevenin's equivalent voltage that can be given as r2 divided by r1 plus r2 into vcc if we substitute the values we can write this as vb is equal to 2.2 kilo ohm divided by 2.2 kilo ohm plus 10 kilo ohm into 10 so we can say vb is equal to 1.8 volts now let us find the voltage ve ve will be equal to vb minus vbe therefore we can write ve is equal to vb minus vbe so vb is 1.8 volts minus vbe is 0.7 volt so vb value will be fixed which is 0.7 volts therefore we can write ve is equal to 1.1 volt now let us find the current ic ic is approximately equal to ie so ic is approximately equal to ie so we can write ie is equal to ve divided by re so ve is 1.1 volt divided by re is 1 kilo ohm so from this you can write the value of ic is equal to 1.1 milli amperes so voltage vc can be given as vcc minus ic rc so ic is the current flowing through the collector terminal so vc will be equal to vcc minus ic rc so vc is equal to ic rc so if we substitute the values it will be 10 volt minus 1.1 milli ampere multiplied with 3.6 kilo ohm which is rc so the voltage vc will be equal to 6.04 volts now let us find the voltage vce vce can be written as vc minus ve therefore we can write vce is equal to vc minus ve so the value of vc is 6.04 volt minus the value of ve is 1.1 volt so from this we can write vce is equal to 4.94 volts this is about dc analysis for voltage divider bias circuit now let us understand ac analysis for voltage divider bias circuit for the voltage divider bias we will connect the coupling capacitors as well as the bypass capacitor along with the ac source for an amplifier circuit 
so coupling capacitors are connected across input as well as output and bypass capacitor is connected parallel to the emitter resistor so connecting bypass capacitor parallel to emitter resistor will provide more stability in q point for an amplifier circuit here coupling capacitors will help in blocking dc in turn it will maintain the biasing which is done to the amplifier circuit and it will allow only ac signals here the ac source is a small sinusoidal voltage with dc level 0 so the small input signal which is an ac signal is considered with dc level zero so base voltage is 1.8 volts which is dc voltage so dc voltage of base is 1.8 volt so this input signal is superimposed on dc level of base voltage which is 1.8 volt the collector voltage is amplified and it is inverted ac voltage which is superimposed on dc level of collector voltage so collector voltage is found to be 6.04 volt so on this dc voltage ac collector voltage will be superimposed the load voltage which is output voltage is same as collector voltage except that it has the dc level of 0 volt so this is the output voltage with dc level 0 volt also the voltage across emitter terminal is pure DC which is 1.1 volt. The voltage across emitter terminal is pure DC because all the AC signal will pass through this bypass capacitor towards the ground. That's why only DC voltage is available across the emitter terminal. So here if bypass capacitor is not connected then an AC voltage will appear across the emitter and ground that will make the amplifier circuit unstable. This is about voltage divider bias. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.